Hey guys, Ellis and Jasmine here again. Um, we've had some more questions through of Adrian from which cut him up to the UK, so I thought we'd uh, do another little vlog just to answer them. So a bit more on the fun side uh, this time around. Uh, not so many serious questions to do with coronavirus uh, for a change. So uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just get straight into it. So what do our daily routines look like? Well, we're obviously working from home at the moment and we tend to work eight or four. Um, so we're working between those times, but we st <laughs> we started trying to get up normal time because we usually get up pretty early, um, about six o'clock in the morning, um, walk the dogs before work, etc. Um, but obviously <laughs> the dogs don't need walking before we go out of the house now. So when um, <laughs> we started accidentally getting into the habit of getting up at about quarter to eight <laughs> in the morning um, and pretty much getting straight out of bed, straight into... Um, straight to work, which is nice, having a bit of a lie-in, but at the same time, you're not really in work mood then, are you? So uh, I think last week, um, I think next week after the bank holiday, we're gonna try and uh, get up a little bit earlier to sort of start the day a bit brighter um, than we have done. Mm -hmm. But then um, after we finish work, I don't know, it kind of changes every day, do we? we try to work out, we finish work at four, we try to just work out straight away so we don't sit down, because I think you fall into a trap if you sit down and sort of watch TV for a bit, you end up just staying there. So, uh, yeah, we, we try doing that, but uh, I don't know, what else do we really do in the evening? No, we try and make the most out of the time that we've got after work, don't we? Mm -hmm. So we usually do a, a quick workout. Um, we'll walk the dogs, mm -hmm. we'll cook together, mm -hmm. and then we usually just settle down in the evening and watch some series that we've yeah. got going on, isn't it? Yeah, binge watching more than anything in the evening yeah. or playing PlayStation yeah. or something like that. Because, you know, at the end of the day, there's not much you can do. I mean, we've been blessed, haven't we, the last sort of two weeks of the weather. Mm. Um, so it has been nice because we, we've got a south facing garden, so at least we get the sun for a, an hour or two at the end of the day as well, which is quite nice. So we, you know, we'll have a coffee out on the patio or something at the end of the day after we've worked out and stuff um, just to kind of chill out a bit, really de decompress from working because obviously we're both uh, public service workers so uh, the days can be quite busy even though we're working from home a lot of it can be filled up with a lot of um, quite busy stuff and uh, contingency planning and things like that so um, yeah. but it's nice to take, take the time to relax really I, I don't think we're ever going to have this much free time ever again like anyone in our lives so I think the best thing to do is make the most of being able to catch up on some things maybe catch up on TV series catch up on some books house cleaning house cleaning obviously <laughs> <laughs> yes, house cleaning. I did wash the windows this morning, so yeah. Um, and yeah, make, make, making sure you put a bit of extra effort into uh, maybe video calling or calling your your parents, grandparents, friends, distant relatives, things like that. Like my grandmother's just um, installed, or I say installed. She's got an iPad, so she's just. My, my cousin has, has recently showed her how to use FaceTime, so. Um, I might give that another go later. Do I FaceTime yeah. my nan? <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> Which is quite nice. Yeah. Right. Go on. So, who is in charge of making lunch and who does the washing up? <laughs> we take it in turns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lunch, you tend to take care of lunch, don't you? Because. Yeah, otherwise, you'll pile like a packet of crisps on your plate and that's it. You won't mm -hmm. have anything else. You'll just have loads of crisps. And it's like, no, you need. Substance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm from the point of view that Jazz is better at making salads than I am, so I let her do the lunch and I'll wash up after. Um, but then when it comes to the evening meals, we'll take it in turns to cook. Like Jazz does really nice um, curries and saucy things, like um, bolognese and stews and soups. Whereas I tend to be better at um, like stir fries and things like, that, like Asian cooking, Mexican stuff, which yeah. is quite nice as well. Uh, so yeah, we do take it in turns. Like last night we had a nice pasta dish, um, which I made, but then before we had... What did we have the night before? I don't know. I don't remember, no. The night before... But I, we had a barbecue. Yeah, we had a little barbecue. Though, fake which, barbecue. Well, a fake bar we haven't got a barbecue, so we just cooked stuff in the oven and on the grill, um, and then took it outside. <laughs> <laughs> so that was our barbecue, because we had it outside yeah. then. I've been meaning to pick one up, but I think uh, they're in high demand at the moment, so I haven't been able to find one yet, but besides the little, little disposable ones, but I don't really want to use them, because um, they create a lot of waste. But uh, So yeah, we do take it in turns. We're quite good. We're, we're, Quite lucky that we both know how to cook and how to clean and how to 
do a lot of household stuff so uh, no one's really in charge of it luckily um, but to be fair if I wasn't any good at cooking I think now would be the perfect time to start maybe trying a bit harder or learning uh, maybe there's a couple of new recipes we might try but yeah. um, but no, we, we are pretty uh, on the ball with house household stuff, aren't we? So, uh, yeah. right. So, third question: Has the lockdown had an effect on your bedtime? Yes, hundred mm -hmm. <laughs> percent. I've uh, actually been finding it a bit harder to get to sleep, which really isn't like me. I'm a pretty good sleeper. Yeah, you're usually flat out by half nine, ten o'clock, and then yeah. you don't get up until the alarm goes off. Um, yeah. Whereas I'm usually late to go into bed anyway. Um, but I think because our sleeping pattern is just a bit all over the place now. Like we said, uh, we were getting up at quarter to eight and starting with eight. I think um, that extra bit of time was just like disrupting it a bit. And I think um, it got us into the habit of going to bed a lot later, um, yeah. you know, more towards like the midnight, whereas we're usually in bed by 10. But we've been trying to combat that, haven't we, again, with yeah. getting up earlier and going to bed earlier. Uh, like the last couple of evenings, even though it's been a bank holiday weekend, I think this has been so hot, it's really worn us out. So we've been able to get to bed by like sort of 11-ish, half 11 which is nice and having a bit of rest, but um, we'll see how it goes this week now. I think we're gonna try and definitely get up earlier this week, so hopefully that'll make yeah. us go to bed earlier. Vice versa, because we do we do like our sleep. Mm -hmm. Right, fourth question. Right, if you could ask your doggies one question each, what would it be? <gasps> Should I get them for this? Yeah, go on. Molly! <laughs> right, there's Molly. Frank! Do you to grab one? Yeah. Where is Frankie? Frank? There he is. Come here, boy. Yeah. So you grab this. Molly, Wee. come here. Come here, girl. Here they are. This is Mr. Frank. Oh, this is Molly. Molly's the sh uh, a miniature schnauzer who is in desperate need of, uh, of a trim, but obviously the groomers aren't open at the moment. Yeah, she so, never uh, looks this bad. She's not usually she? this scruffy. We did have to cut her uh, eyebrows out the other day. Yeah. And then this is Mr. Frank, our sausage dog. Yeah. <laughs> who we've had from uh, from about eight to nine weeks old. We've had her since she was about three months old. So yeah. uh, look at Frank; he's like a natural. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. I know, look at him. Right. Okay. So if we could ask them one question, what would it be? Go on, go first. Okay, I would ask Molly why she doesn't calm down <laughs> because she's always on the go. Yeah. She's always. always she's always 100 miles per hour or she's sleeping there's no in between no. like at the moment she's quite sleepy but that's because she's been running around and howling for the last hour so um I, yeah that's why i'd ask molly i'd ask her what on earth is she doing half the time because i, I really don't know what her brain is thinking when she's running around and howling and barking and everything mm. frank on the other hand What's his fascination with the ball? Yeah, I bought a, because I play hockey, um, I bought a, myself a hockey ball here um, to practice with at the back. But it's not my ball now, it's Frank's ball because yeah. he's obsessed with it. It's the only, if you say, where's your ball? Oh, he's yawning. Oh. <laughs> if you say, where's your ball? He will always go to the same yellow hockey ball. He never goes to the tennis ball or the squeaky toys or anything. It's always, where's your ball? And he's obsessed with it. Yeah. So what's his obsession with the ball? Why are you so mental? What's your obsession with the balls? So what would you ask them? Um, I'd probably ask, why are you so greedy? Gre she is very greedy, yeah. She eats anything, moss. Anything. <laughs> yeah, she's been eating all the moss in the garden, is she? Anything, she flies. She's mm. disgusting. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. And. What do you um, ask Frank? So can still... you understand this? Yeah. Like, other than the trigger words, can you actually sort of grasp what we're saying? Because yeah, so... when we talk to them, like his head tilts and mm -hmm. her head tilts, so it's like they want to know yeah. what we're saying. Yeah, they like to know what we're saying. I think yeah. obviously they understand trigger words like, I'm going to say one now, food. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> She's like, where? <laughs> where was the food? Um, and walk. Oh, his eye opened then. Like... <laughs> and ball, obviously for Frank, not so much with Molly. Yeah, you, um, like, you like that word, don't you, Frank? Yeah, ball. he loves that word. But, um, but yeah, I don't know really. It'd be interesting. I'd love to be able to know what your dog's thinking all the time. Yeah. Oh, okay, she wants to go down now. Okay, come on, down you go. In you go. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we'd ask no, about no, dogs. No, they're fighting. They're fighting on the floor, lovely. So.
<laughs> Next question, go on. You have you one. been have you been spending more time looking out the windows at your neighbours? Hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> We've like they've gone out five times. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm not too bothered. I'm not like you see some people that are so like on Facebook, uh there's a like a hub group for our area that we live in and people go mad on there. They're like I've seen so many people out today, it's ridiculous. And it's like, people can go out to exercise as long as you obviously socially distance. Yeah. It's getting a bit, I think everyone's going to stir crazy. Yeah, like we went for I a run yesterday and things, didn't we? So you can go out, but obviously yeah. you've just got to be sensible. And I think, um, of course, you've just got to be respectful of other people's space. Yeah, as long as you're not taking the biscuit. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not too bad, excuse me. I'll be boring you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I'm quite inquisitive anyway. I think probably because I work for the police and stuff. I'm very... I like, I like to know what's going on. So I've definitely been um, <laughs> peeping out the bedroom window at night in the evenings in the morning to see what's going on. Hmm. Never hear a noise. I'm always up looking out the window to see what's going on. Yeah, there was probably like a noise outside at like half 11, 12, and then you were like, who's up? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. Next question. Do you put a toilet roll on the right way, which I do, which is the paper hanging away from the wall, or are you a psychopath and do you put it against the wall? You do all the time and it drives me insane. I know. It's because I didn't even know there was a right way to put a toilet roll Obviously. on. I always put it the wrong way. And then when I think I'm putting it on the right way, I'm putting it in the wrong way. So I might as well just stay and put it the wrong the way. Wall, it's like that, isn't it? It's easy to just grab. Yeah, but, but either way... then if it's way, like against the wall, then you've got to like... And, oh, no, it doesn't Either work. way, you're going to grab a bit of tissue, aren't it's you? It's just easier to do it the normal way, isn't it? It's just right there. It's a lot more convenient. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the, that's the only thing. That's my only pet peeve with jazz around the house is that she puts the toilet roll on the wrong way. It could be worse. Oh, yeah. So I said the only <laughs> way. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Right, have you read anything good since the lockdown began? I'm still on a book that I started on holidays last year, so... Yeah. I've been getting into my watercolours, so I've been yeah, putting yeah. a lot of my time aside on that because it's quite it's quite a lengthy sort of thing to do, mm -hmm. it takes a lot of time. But yeah. I have ordered a bunch of books, haven't I, that I still haven't started. Yeah, the, um, I don't know if anyone saw on TV um, a couple of weeks ago, Noughts and Crosses, the series that came on. Um, which is based on a novel called Notes and Crosses by Mallory Blackman, but I didn't realise it was a series and Jazz read the first book years ago and, mm. the, and the series was really good. So you bought yeah. the rest, well, you bought the following four, I think there's like eight books altogether. I think so. Something yeah. like that. Um, but you bought the sort of box set four, didn't you? Yeah. So you're going to get into them. I've got to finish this one book I'm on. Um, and then I don't know what I'm going to read next to be honest. I've got a few autobiographies I wouldn't mind reading. Like Sam Warburton, who is obviously a Welsh rugby player, ex Welsh rugby player. Um, Rafa Nadal, as well. A lot of sport, sporty ones mm -hmm. I got to read through, which would be quite nice. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. I need to, I do need to read more though. I, I, I tend to be, if I have free time, it tends to be, oh, let's turn the PlayStation on, but I need to think, especially when the weather's nice, get out there, get out there with a book and a coffee and just enjoy the uh, sunshine for a bit before it all, all goes wet and cloudy again, which should, undoubtedly will at some point so yeah. right next question um are there any two player games that one of you always wins crash team racing yeah but which one of us always wins me i've won a few times when you've cheated yeah when what how have i cheated when you save one of your missiles until the very end and you hit me just as i'm about to that's play. tactical thinking that's not cheating, cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I'll, I'll win 9 out of 10 races on Crash Team Racing against you, won't I? 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. But then she, the she gets really annoyed at me then when I beat her. Yeah. But I'm not going to let you win, just for the sake of letting you win. The only way you can win is by your, your dirty tactics with your missiles at the end or your bombs. It ain't dirty, it's tactical. Dirty tactics. FIFA as well, I would be on FIFA. We haven't played FIFA for ages, mate. I can't stand the FIFA. <laughs> oh, I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand it. I love FIFA, so... Yeah. I don't know, we don't really play that many other two-player games, do we? No. But, um... We don't, no. We should probably get some more. Wipeout is good, which is a, like a spaceship racing game. 
that's pretty cool. That's got weapons and stuff as well. So there's a lot of dirty tactics coming out of Jazz's. Uh, I was going to say, <laughs> that's right up my street. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. If you could have unlimited money to spend in one shop, what would it be? Oh, in oh, one shop. I don't know. Sounds sad, but Tesco. It's <laughs> like you could get <laughs> or Argos. But Tesco, you can get you get the food, get a bit of makeup, mm -hmm. get a bit of sprays, clothes. No, Sainsbury's because there's an Argos in there. Yeah, but it's not Sainsbury's. Landed. No. no, that question's nailed. Uh, I am answering it. I would say the Vans shop, I would. Because I love Vans. So. You're going to starve then. Well, no, I no, suppose you've got still Sainsbury's. Go to <laughs> oh, because I've got Sainsbury's. Yeah, okay. you, you get a Sainsbury's unlimited spend, and I get Vans. So I get the nice shoes, the nice clothes, the nice hoodies, nice hats, skateboards, rucksacks. You get food. All right. There we go. Solid. And house stuff. And house stuff, of course. All right, what would be our perfect coronavirus isolation day together? Oh, I don't know, really. Mm. The weather's got to be sunny for one. Take the dogs for a really nice long walk. That'd be the first thing on the uh, agenda, I think. Yeah, go out. Because we love doing that. We love taking our little doggies for, for a nice walk. Obviously, we haven't taken them on too many long walks this bank holiday weekend because it's been so hot. No. And Frank is obviously black, so he really he gets really hot because he absorbs all the heat. Um, and Molly is obviously full of... <clears throat> excuse me. Is in desperate need of a trim, so she's really got she's got a lot of thick hair, and her houses don't uh, molt either, so it's not yeah. like she's shedding fur. Um, so we've been brushing her pretty much every day, every other day. Um, but she's still got really thick hair, so they've been really hot the last couple of days. So we haven't really taken them on too many long walks, but still, sort of like you know, twenty minutes around the block. But yeah, a, an ideal isolation day would be taking them for a good, you know, good. We, we live not far, just down that way. There's a nature reserve. So ideally, it would be like walking from our house down the path to the nature reserve, around the nature reserve and back. It'd be uh, would be lovely. Mm. Um, <clears throat> work out in the on, in, in the garden, maybe. We we like doing exercise. Yeah. Because not only is it good to do exercise if you're locked in the house, but also it's good for your mental health as well. And it's yeah. just good. It just makes you feel good in general. Um, yeah, doing a workout, cooking yeah. something nice in the evening. Yeah, eating out on oh. the patio, which is nice. Yeah, and watch a, like, watch a few episodes or something. Hmm. Yeah, just something relaxing, really. Yeah. Cutting the grass. I really like cutting the grass. Especially when it's sunny. Yeah. Because <laughs> I love just cutting the grass and then just taking a step back and looking at it all fresh and cutting the grass. <sighs> Lovely. <laughs> yeah. Got a last question. If you could be socially isolated in one place in the world, where would it be and why? Mm. Spain. Spain, Italy, south yeah, of where, France. Yeah, but where in Italy or Spain? Oh, I don't know. I would say... Valencia. No, somewhere like nice and relaxing. I would say... We went to Lake Garda a few, week, <gasps> a few years ago. Yeah, Lake Garda. Was it last year? Year before last? Mm. Year before last? Year before last. Um, and that's really nice because obviously we love Italian food. It's in Italy and it's because it's quite north, it's not too hot. So I think that would be ideal. Yeah. Because obviously, as much as I love the sun, yesterday I was really uncomfortable for a few hours because I was just so hot that I just couldn't cool down. So I think Lake Garda would be ideal, wouldn't it? Lake Garda. Yeah. Because you get the bonus of like, you know, the lovely pizzas and pastas. Lovely Italian people, the Italian ice cream, mm, and everything. Definitely. But you also get the fact that it's isn't it's nice weather, but it's not too um, it's not too hot. It can get it can get hot, don't get me wrong, but it's not like southern Italy or south of Spain or something like that where it's like sunny all the time. It's uh, like garden get quite cloudy and stuff, so you do get a bit of a break in the weather sometimes, which is yeah. nice. You could have like it'd be sunny five minutes, it'll storm for a good half an hour, and then it's sunny because you're so high up. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's stunning, isn't it? It's such a nice place. Yeah, absolutely. So that would be the ideal stunning. place, wouldn't it? Would you, yeah. would you agree? I would agree. There we go. So mm -hmm. that was an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I think that's all the questions we've had off Adrian. Can you think of Is there any, anything else you want to ask me? Um, I don't know. No? No? Um, <laughs> When can we have our Easter eggs? When can we have our Easter eggs? Yeah. Well, it's just gone 11 o'clock in the morning yeah. and it's Easter Sunday. So I think we should dress ourselves to an Easter egg now. Yeah. 
There okay. we go. So, so we're going to go eat an Easter egg. <laughs> so we'll see you guys soon.